Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to Ask Muslim. So today, inshallah, we want to talk about something really important. And this is a couple, whether it's the husband or wife, thinking of getting a divorce. Now, this is not, we're not going to talk about the problems that led to this point. We're just going to talk about one or both of these individuals just having that thought lingering within their minds in their marriage. The first advice that I would give to somebody like this is number one, try to get those thoughts out of your mind as soon as possible. Even though our Sharia permits divorce, it's one of those things that you only want to access it or do it if there's a strong, solid need for it. Otherwise, you want to stay away from it as much as possible. Because shaitan is very, very influential in times like this. When people are distressed, people are going through problems, shaitan comes to us and influences us to make crazy, rash decisions about our lives. A lot of people who divorce end up regretting the divorce immediately after it's done because they would say to themselves, had I done this, had I done that, had I stayed longer, had I been more patient, things would have probably turned out a bit different. So the first thing you want to do is you want to throw out that idea and right out the window, especially when you can't see something in front of you, something there, something strong that would lead you to divorcing your spouse. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, is that when you're dealing with these kinds of emotion, you must get a second opinion. You must go to somebody who's trained in that field, somebody who has experience, a counselor, an imam, or a sheikh, somebody that you know that you respect that has knowledge about nikah and divorce. Go to them and hear their advice. Because in times like this, you always need guidance of dealing with these situations. Don't try to handle all of this by yourself. Take the guidance of people who have the theoretical knowledge of how to deal with these issues. Third thing is support. You must have support if you're thinking about divorce because what support will do is that regardless of what side you go to, whether you go for a divorce or whether you try to reconcile and work things out, if you have support, it'll always feel like this is the right decision for you because you'll have the second opinion there. But at the same time, when things do get rough, when you do get into the gutters, you'll have somebody there to pick you out, to advise you, to encourage you, to let you know things are going to be okay. Because brothers and sisters, those of you who are watching, if you've gone through a divorce, how did it feel when it happened? Did you feel as though you had no hope in your life anymore. You could never get married again. Nobody's going to want you because you're too old or you've been married or you have children and this and that. So that's it. You're just going to be stuck on the shelf and nobody's going to come to you anymore. Well, when you have support, all of those satanic thoughts get thrown out the window because it's all from shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed this in our sharia, ah, not for a bad or uh, a negative wisdom behind it. But it's something that's good for us because simply relation, not all relationships are going to work out. So the point here is, brothers and sisters, is if you're out there and you're thinking about divorcing your spouse or breaking the marriage, the first thing is that you want to stop, throw that idea out of your head and really look at the issue in marriage and see if it constitutes for a divorce or not. If you do that, inshallah ta'ala, things will start to look clearer in front of you and then you can start making the right decisions for yourself and for your marriage. And inshallah, brothers and sisters, as a counselor, I can tell you, if you do this and you take your time and do as the Prophet ﷺ has uh, encouraged us to do so when, when he tells us in an authentic hadith, don't make rash decisions because rash de decisions are from the shaitan. So don't hasten in doing things. Don't hasten in trying to get things done. Because if you take your time, then inshallah, whatever decision you make will feel like the right decision. And if it feels right, then it'll always re lead you to the right things, inshallah ta'ala. So having said that, guys, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your marriages easy for all of you and bring happiness into your lives. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.